Hello, my Contagious Power friends. Thank you for joining. I welcome you to this week's devotional. My name is Wendy Payne. Thanks for joining. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, I encourage you to do so and hit that thumbs up. Would love to have you join along this journey with us. This week, I'm gonna be talking about seasons of change in our lives. So to start off, we're gonna go into the Word of God and we're gonna look at Ecclesiastes. This is chapter three and we're gonna start at verse one. It says there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down, a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. Don't we need to throw away some stuff once in a while? A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent, a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. I'm just gonna jump over the page to the last verse where it says, I know that everything God does will endure forever. Nothing can be added to it and nothing taken away from it. God does it so that people will fear him. In different seasons of life, we go through sometimes struggles, sometimes happy moments. We have different emotions that come with different seasons in our lives. We have different seasons that we have to live through. Here we have winter right now, then there's spring, summer, fall, and each season comes with its challenge. In the winter, we have to bundle up and wear warm clothes and try to keep away from the cold. We also see flowers and plants begin to die, leaves are gone, and non-existent at all. Then springtime comes and we start to see a whole new life coming up. Buds on the trees, flowers starting to uprise. And then in summer, hot. We see things are in full bloom, the sun is shining, everybody's in a good mood, and then slowly that starts to fade away and we have fall, where we see the leaves start to change color and eventually fall away. Each season comes with challenges. Winter, we have to shovel snow. How painful is that sometimes? Then in spring, there's things that are budding and we have new life and it's exciting and fun. Summer, we have hot. People are complaining because it's too hot. And then fall, we complain maybe because we have to rake leaves. With each season comes challenges, and so is it in our own personal lives. We go through different seasons in our lives. For some of you, it may be a job change. For some of you, maybe your children are leaving home and you're facing empty nest. Maybe it's going to school for the first time, leaving home and, and leaving your parents. Maybe a season of having a new baby. There's all different seasons that we go through. And sometimes those seasons can be very challenging, very hard. Sometimes those seasons are sad where maybe we've had to say goodbye to a loved one that has passed away. Some of the seasons bring us joy. Sometimes we can question God and wonder, why do we have to go through these seasons? But as it says in the last part of this verse, it says God does it so that people will fear him. Not fear him in a sense that we're afraid of him. He's not a God that comes down and does mean things because we need to be reprimanded. That's not the God that he is. It's a fear that we would look to him. We would lean on him in times of trouble. It's a fear of where we would love him and we would know that he supports us and he loves us. And I just really wanted to take some time this week to encourage all of you. Maybe you are going through a difficult season right now and you may think, when is this ever going to end? I want you to know and trust that God sees the season that you're going through and he's walking the journey with you and he wants you to know that you are not alone, that he will go with you and a season of joy and rejoicing will come. I know for me in my personal life, I just had an answer to prayer for something that I have been praying for for years. And during the time of praying, I can honestly say that there were moments where I would cry out to God and say, do you even hear me? Are you even listening to me? I'm sure there's many of you out there who have had those moments. 
But can I tell you, after years of praying, God has finally answered my prayer. And now I'm in a season of rejoicing and thanking God for answering that prayer. So we will go through times where we will cry out to God and feel like he has left us, that he doesn't hear us. But then there will be seasons where we can rejoice. Can I encourage you to press on? In Philippians, we are told to press on towards the goal. We will go through seasons, but as we take Christ by the hand, hold on to him with all of our strength, he will walk us through and we will see the end of the season. It won't be winter all the time. Soon we were gonna be having spring and seeing new life, buds and, and flowers coming. And then with that comes summer. And how many of us love to have time to sit at the beach or go camping or just enjoy the sunshine sitting on the deck? I know my husband and I love to sit on the deck drinking coffee in the summertime and just have an awesome time to chat together. And then comes the next season where we start to see the heat slowly diminish and it gets chillier and chillier and we start to see those leaves fall. There's always going to be a change in life. But can I tell you to embrace it? Embrace the changes in your life. Embrace the moments and embrace the experiences. Because with those experiences comes moments where you'll be able to share and encourage someone else who's going through a difficult season. So embrace the seasons. Find something good in the season and find a way that you can use it for good to honor God and for his glory. I pray that this encouraged you today. Keep pressing on. Know that the season that you're going through right now will not be forever. God will help you and you will be rejoicing soon. I just wanna encourage you. We had a contest uh, a couple of weeks ago to celebrate the 100 subscribers. I won't mention the names here for privacy on here, but I will be contacting those people and sending out two books uh, that I have written and just to bless you with those to celebrate. We're on our way to 200 subscribers. So when we'll do that, we'll do another contest for that as well. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button, I encourage you to do so. Have a great week. Go out there and make Jesus famous. God bless.